Hello everyone and welcome back to Constant Suffering and Pain. Welcome back to playing every single country in Rise of Nations. Alright, so today we're gonna be playing some Algeria. Always uh, the basic setup, just to buy on Tunisia and Malta for some kind of free money, I guess. Also, this game I do want to sell some consumers because I feel like I want to just keep research spending on for as long as possible because I just want to get quantum and then just have fun with research from there on. Now, I don't really know if it's better to just go down research straight away or if it's good to go down factory output, but uh, I think I'll just go with the research for now. I think you can't really go wrong with that. There we go. So we got our trade set. Now we can just max out these two and we'll be fine from there all right now i want to just find morocco and i want to see okay so spain is a player so okay he's he's moving into gibraltar i guess that's fine for now as long as he doesn't move into morocco straight away all right i'm just gonna just find like north africa and stuff like that is egypt okay egypt is not a player that might be really useful you know usually that's rare that they're not a player but that would be really useful if we are uh, able to just annex Egypt pretty early on, then we'll have like a pretty decent lead, I, I'd say. Okay, Spain wants to ally, but uh, I don't really know if I want to ally them because uh, I do want to form either the Arab League or the Islamic Caliphate, or at least kind of follow down that path. And I do need Spain for the Islamic Caliphate, so I'm not entirely sure I want to do that. It's such a pain to start off with only one square city and then just have to make tanks with only that. So Spain is taking out Portugal really, really slowly, which kind of makes me question how strong spain is at the game so yeah i think i want to just take over egypt as fast as possible and then just uh expand into the rest of the middle east over here is turkey a player turkey is a player and he's fighting greece but they're going kind of slow at it if i'm being honest so yeah with all this money flowing in i can slowly start kind of like trying to justify the the war with spain here because i'm becoming more and more capable of going to war spain is even begging for money in the chat here uh i don't really know why turkey has been trying to take over greece for i don't know how long but all right now i think we can auto capture the rest of egypt you know what uh, they're gonna ask for my uh phosphate but i think i'm just gonna hog my phosphate since if i take over like all these countries over here most of the world's phosphate would be mine and uh, yeah i mean <laughs> Look at all this faucet. Okay, so Turkey declared war on Syria. I'm definitely gonna challenge him for Syria, though. And I'll definitely have to fight Turkey eventually. Yeah, I do need them for Islamic Caliphate. So we're gonna take all these major cities and then focus on the other cities. Okay, Iran has declared on Iraq. So yeah, Iran is basically gonna be like a pretty, pretty big target for me. It is kind of annoying that Turkey hasn't... Oh, Turkey's AI. Yeah, we just take them over pretty easily over here. It's a free country anyways. Also, I can declare... Oh, India just forged the justification on me. So he really wants my phosphate. Last chance, uh, Allergia. You are signing a death warrant if you decline. I'm declining. <laughs> yep, he signed it. So he declares on me. Yes, absolutely nothing. France has joined in. He does have something, I guess. So we'll give him that. So yeah, he's sending some destroyers here. I'm gonna make some artillery. So yeah, he's bringing his tanks here. Let's make... Let's just spam a lot of infantry there. He wants to directly land here. Those are his destroyers gone though. Those destroyers are definitely dying. I'm not gonna let those tanks land anywhere. He still hasn't noticed the fact that his destroyers are rapidly dying. That's spam pathetic just like he is. What? I guess uh, using your manpower to defend your country is pretty, pretty bad, I guess. I don't know, man. He's uh, attritioning a lot over here. We've got some destroyers set up over here. Let's see how many tanks I have. I have 3,000 tanks that uh, can start making their way over here. Okay, I've caught those tanks. They're in attrition on top of being taken out by my military over there. So yeah, we're doing pretty well, I should say. There we go. There we go. Form line. Let's auto capture France. Okay, so India's talking a lot. And thing is... He hasn't made any troops yet. Like, he's not really threatening at all right now. And I'm just simply taking out France, which is free land for me. France left the game. <laughs> there we go. Now I can use these tanks to take over something like uh, Spain. Oh, he's AI. So that's always great. There we go. We can take over 
In the meantime, I can also declare on Turkey. Okay, now we can take over Iberia. There we go. All right, 2024, we have 100 million population and it'll definitely rise because I'm taking over Iberia and uh, Turkey at the same time. So India is still yet to make any sort of troops. There we go. We have all of Iberia. We got a lot of money. There we go. Got all of Turkey. Let's tell these guys to take over Greece. Am I not able to peace France? I'm not. What even is this? Oh, he wants to white piece. I'm not white piecing. He wanted to to fight. He'll have a fight, I guess. India's first in ranking, so I think that's all because he has like a lot of developments, maybe. Yeah. He's developed everything and he's gone like insane taxing, but that's it. India's using specialization, be careful. Okay. I don't really know who who is this guy? Antarctica. For some reason he knows that. Okay. Alright, I think it's about time I justify on Saudi and I start justifying on all these other guys. So, India has beef with China for some reason. Instead of uh, me, I guess he's just kind of fallen out with uh, our beef. He has a lot of shipyards and he hasn't made any navy. Uh, eventually, he is way stronger than me purely because he can spam so much more. Now, to form the Arab League, I kind of just need, well, you know, the United Arab Emirates, Iraq, and these African countries as well as uh, the Comoros. There we go. Just the rest of Iraq, and I'll need to be at peace, which uh, I'm not going to be able to be at peace for a while. So, he has 41 fighters, 52 bombers, and apparently he's trying to max them out. The collapse of Kurdistan. There we go. Now I have almost 10,000 tanks. I do not need the tanks anymore. So we're going to be disbanding all of the tanks. And yeah, okay. I'll just be spamming everything. Let's also select all my infantry. Let's... I'm just going to have to watch out. Yep. Okay, so he's trying to bomb everything. So yeah, fighters are just going to have to protect whatever I have. He's taking out my stuff. Like, what? Yeah, his bombers straight out take on my fighters, so the only way I can win this is if I make a navy and I send all of my troops there, because seriously, I do not have the time for any of this stuff. He's gonna pause quite possibly, actually he already is killing my whole entire income, but I'm down to go into depth for all of this stuff, so yeah. Yes, six battleships, seven destroyers. Okay, so yeah, he's sending another wave of just bombers on bombers on bombers. Yugoslavia, I don't really care about you right now, like seriously. Even though I have five destroyers concentrated on that, which as far as I know, uh, Navy should absolutely destroy whatever he has. But yeah, he's just trying to bomb like whatever I have first and then he wants to attack or something like that because... I don't know, man. Yep, he is sending 4 million troops right here, I can tell. Now, I don't have any money, so we're gonna have to do with what we have. Whatever he tries to do, I'm down to just scorch everything so that his troops die. Everything is going really slow for some reason. I think the infrastructure is just dead. Oh, damn, what the f I'll just scorch all of that. Oh, damn, that's allowed! Oh, God. Now, I don't know if he knows, but the uh, troops are significantly weaker on water there we go so all of his troops are gone that's one thing all he has is just little bits and pieces thing is he has no threat like he can't take anything else he just has air that's literally it i'm i will never be able to get out of depth but i do have eight million troops that can at least do something he has nothing he has actually nothing he's losing he's losing a lot of troops i mean uh planes Oh, Yugoslavia declared war on me. Oh, well. So, yeah, I'm fighting a war on two fronts. They're not that strong at all, actually. They're insanely weak. They just have the ability to make... Because, you know, they could have prepared. Let's also get some anti-tank because this guy's... I'm gonna send these guys into Italy and all that stuff. Let's also bring these guys over here. I just want to make sure they do not have any submarines when I land in his country because he is going to instantly die. I'm trying to kill all of his fighters. Yes, he still has 13 fighters somewhere. I'm still attritioning somehow, even though I have those. There we go, Belgrade is taken. India went AI? <laughs> oh my god. That is the easiest white piece of my life. There we go. There we go. Now I can deal with you alone. <laughs> okay, so India left. So I'm still not going to be profitable for a very, very long time. And now I can invest all of my troops 
to take out all of his stuff. Yeah, basically, in short, both Romania and Yugoslavia that declared on me are cooked. Let's make our way towards Bucharest. USA joined the war against us. What the hell? I cannot catch a break for anything. On arrest is really bad. Being in depth, yeah, I forgot about that part. I'm gonna try and white piece them because I, <laughs> I'm so done. Oh god, I'm collapsing entirely. Um, yeah, until everything starts stops burning, that's when I'll be okay. I do want to absolutely collapse these guys though, like as hard as I can. I'm gonna send them a white piece now that I hold both of their capitals. I had military organization. All right, we white piece them. I bring down military spending to the absolute minimum. We're gonna be. Usually, I don't want to print money. I'm too far behind everything. Let's also turn down research spending. Government spending can stay on for a little bit. I did take both of their capitals, and I think I did tank their stabilities for quite a while because they are not making troops either, which kind of means something. I was I was on path. To <laughs> To just form, but, you know, I had to keep my war with India going on. So, yeah, that was really, really smart of me. I know, thank you. So, yeah, let's just try and declare wars on countries. Let's declare war on you. I don't even have to take you. I just need to declare war. Seriously, that gives me stability. Literally, one more tick. There we go, finally. <laughs> finally, we're even. Oh, my God. Now my troops can actually, like, get back to, to recuperating. There we go. Egypt is done. Beirut, that is done. You see? Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I'm not trying to have another situation where I have to fight Russia and then I cannot form the Arab League. I could actually aid them a lot of money. One billion. One million to you. No, I'm not sending aid too quickly. I've given both of them money. I've given both of them manpower. They should have everything that's possible to fight this guy. Oman and Saudi Arabia are the only ones left that I actually need for the Arab League. For the Islamic Caliphate, I do need, you know, Turkey, Cyprus, and all of that stuff. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Arab League should be... There we go. That's, that's perfect. We are the Arab League. For some reason, I just got 40 billion from Antarctica. <laughs> they have 25 population. Max, if you see this video, I do, I do want you to comment, man. <laughs> because I, I need answers. What are you doing? What, I, I need more answers. Hey, me and you. Hey, who's this? Okay, this is not America. Me and you, Russia. <laughs> you know what? Let's get in. Let's form line. Let's... Auto capture Russia. Send all of these guys. Let's max my military spending. Because I did forget about that. I think I'm not ready to fight his troops just yet. I'm keeping like a large stack of my troops over here. Okay, let me see. He has eight fighters, seven bombers. Okay, there we go. My bombers are here. Let's tell them to go straight for Moscow. Moscow is getting bombed to shreds. He's taking them out. Please tell me I don't lose that. Like, come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't lose that. He's losing a lot and this game is becoming extremely laggy. All of his troops died there. Now we will take my fighters and we will bring them all over there. So there goes his bombers and okay, that, that was that was all of his stuff. Now we take the bombers straight for that. And now Moscow is getting bombed. The shreds from how many bombers is that? Yep, and now Moscow is absolutely burning he's got his fighters here there we go we're cooking those guys up oh did he leave oh he left and he came back oh he sent he's sending his troops yep so the ai just kind of messed him up there really bad there we go my fighters are doing their job which is fighting and he sent all of his fighters to die See, if I have control of the air, I can basically do anything that I wish. You know, bombing his stuff would be very useful. He does not... I don't think he even has any money left. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course you're bored of the war because you probably have no more money. Moscow is literally open. He has 8 million troops, although I'm not exactly... He has a large portion there. Sending some... He's sending 2.4 million troops there. 
I know that he still has anti air there. If I were to just go in, I would take out his anti air first of all. I don't know how many troops he has there though. That's the problem. Okay, now he is suffering a lot of casualties. <laughs> when we take out the anti air, we send my attackers. We send my bombers. My leader died. And there we go. Russia is dead. Moscow. He did he did fight for as much as he could. I gotta gotta be honest with that. I do have to give him props for that, but <laughs> Yugoslavia held out for a very long time. While we're doing that, I might as well try and take over Iran and everything else. We're getting closer and closer to the ten percent, please. And now we have to selection everything. You know, just waiting for the notification. There we go. And now we can form. This took too long, man. Finally, it's done. This took too long, man. Thank you so much for watching, and click this video right here if you want to watch more.